In this video, we're going to be looking at combining minoxidil with a compound known as tretinoin. Scientists have actually found a way to combine these two treatments. It's been published and you'll learn about it in today's video. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here from HairGod.com, where people who are worried about their hair loss go to regrow their hair. If you want updating on any of the latest hair loss news or any breakthroughs that we find out about, then do make sure to hit subscribe. Guys, if you're personally worried about your own hair loss, then do make sure to click the link in the description to take the Hair God Hair Loss Quiz. All you've got to do is answer a few short and simple questions about yourself and your hair loss, then you'll receive free, personalized, expert information on how to regrow healthy hair. If you remember, a few weeks ago, we did a video about the minoxidil response test that's been submitted for FDA approval. If you missed that video, I have a link to it in the description below for you to watch after this video. The minoxidil response test will be used to predict who will respond well to minoxidil treatment and who won't. It's intended to be administered before someone begins treatment with minoxidil when they're still considering their treatment options. And it will tell with over 98% accuracy if that person will respond well to treatment or if it will be a waste of time. That test is based on the recent discovery that minoxidil will work depending on the degree to which someone expresses the so-called sulfotransferase enzymes. Those with high levels of sulfotransferase enzyme activity respond well to minoxidil and those with low levels respond poorly. The test measures the activity of these enzymes on the scalp and is therefore able to predict in advance the treatment outcome. Now, the reason high levels of sulfotransferase enzymes are crucial is that these enzymes are necessary to convert minoxidil to minoxidil sulfate. Minoxidil sulfate is a metabolite of minoxidil. And we explained in our previous video, it is that minoxidil sulfate that's responsible for the hair regrowth, not the actual minoxidil itself. So some men naturally express these enzymes more and some less. Now, here's the trick. You can actually enhance the activity of these enzymes through medication. And the medication believed to do just this, namely enhance these enzymes, is called tretinoin. Tretinoin is an acne medication and has been on the market since the 1960s. So the drug itself isn't new, but its potential to be a minoxidil game changer is just starting to become apparent. I want to show you the results of this 2019 paper. The paper is co-authored by prominent dermatologists from various research universities and research institutions around the world. The idea behind the study was the earlier findings that tretinoin induces sulfotransferase activity in vitro. So the researchers thought, what if tretinoin can have the same effect on the scalp? Then it should be able to convert minoxidil non-responders to responders. So the researchers took 20 men and women with pattern baldness and administered them the minoxidil response test. The test showed seven of the 20 subjects would be non-responders to minoxidil treatment. The researchers then instructed each subject to apply topical tretinoin cream 0.1% on their scalp daily for four consecutive days. On the fifth days, the subjects retook the test. Three out of the seven or 43% of subjects who were previously classed as non-responders were now classed as responders, meaning that in these subjects, the tretinoin was able to enhance the sulfotransferase activity to such a degree that they would now respond well to minoxidil. In the scientists' own words, this study illuminates a clear path to an adjuvant therapy to increase the efficacy of topical minoxidil for the treatment of androgenetic alopecia. But here's where the plot thickens. This study was the first to more or less pinpoint exactly how tretinoin can enhance the activity of minoxidil, but it was done on a very small sample of people, 20 to be precise, and the tretinoin was never actually used with minoxidil. It was only tested on its own to see if it would alter the results of the response test. But we already have an earlier study that tested the effects of treating bald men with a combination of minoxidil and tretinoin, and the results were impressive. I've also linked to that study in the description below. It was conducted in Korea, and the men were randomly assigned to two groups. Group 1 applied 5% minoxidil on their scalp twice daily, as per the manufacturer's instructions. The other group received the combination minoxidil stroke tretinoin treatment in a custom-made liquid solution of 5% minoxidil and 0.01% tretinoin. But they received it once, not twice daily. So you had a very unequal test. On the one hand was the minoxidil twice daily, and on the other hand was the minoxidil stroke tretinoin combination once daily. 
the study participants were blinded as to what treatment they were receiving. The setup to accomplish this was elaborate, but the bottom line was they didn't know what treatment that they were getting, so there was no placebo effect. There were 14 men in the combination treatment and 15 in the control group. After 18 weeks, both groups had increased hair counts, and the differences between the two groups were not actually significant. If anything, the combination treatment group had higher counts after 18 weeks, around 17% regrowth compared to 13% for the minoxidil only group. But due to the small sample size, this difference did not attain statistical significance. The men's before and after head photos were also evaluated by an expert dermatologist. The scale ranged from 0 for no change to plus 4 for dramatic improvement. Again, on average, the two groups had very similar results, and the differences between them were not significant. Now guys, as I said, this was a very lopsided, unequal test. You had the standard twice daily minoxidil being compared to once daily treatment. And the results show that by adding tretinoin to the minoxidil, you can get away with once daily application. And we know that this can make a difference to you sticking out the minoxidil treatment in the long run. You apply the minoxidil prior to going to sleep, wake up the next morning, and you can just simply get on with your life. You don't have to make room in your schedule for a second application during the daytime. Something which is not going to be practical for many guys out there. It's going to be very difficult to find the time or setting during the day to pop out the Rogaine canister and start applying it for most men. Now guys, I know exactly what you're thinking. What if I add tretinoin to my minoxidil and apply it twice daily? Will I get even better results? Well, the answer is probably yes. We were able to find one small study published in the 1980s out of the US. There were four treatment groups, placebo, minoxidil only, tretinoin only, and a combination of minoxidil and tretinoin. Subjects in all groups were treated topically twice daily. The minoxidil group was very small, only three subjects. This doesn't really allow us to compare against the combination treatment with confidence. But given what we know about minoxidil's efficacy from other studies, the twice daily combination of minoxidil with tretinoin seems to give superior results. One in three patients treated with the combination treatment showed no change. And we know from other minoxidil studies that this figure is around one in two when you receive minoxidil on its own. Of the remaining 66%, 22% were classed as having moderate regrowth, and the remaining 44% were given the best possible evaluation, which was good. Good was defined in this study as hair regrowth in excess of 45% in a small target area of 1 inch diameter. Now, the most common side effects of tretinoin a topical irritation of the skin in the form of redness, itching, and irritation. These are generally mild and will stop when you discontinue treatment. And guys, tretinoin or no tretinoin, as soon as you stop minoxidil treatment, any hair that you've regrown will fall out within three to four months. Now, having said all this, I cannot emphasize strongly enough that tretinoin is not licensed for hair loss. It's an acne treatment. And given its patent has long expired and there's not a lot of money to be made out of it, it will probably always stay an acne treatment as well. It's never going to be licensed for hair loss meaning that if you want to add it to your minoxidil treatment, you will have to speak to your doctor about it. There are a number of dermatologists out there who are now prescribing topical solutions with the two ingredients, so it would be best to consult with a dermatologist with a strong background in hair loss. They're the ones more likely to know about this. You can sit down with them, weigh up the pros and cons, discuss the side effects, and see if this is the treatment for you. Now, you can also click the video on the screen now to learn more about the truth about male pattern baldness, as well as the video on minoxidil response testing.